All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be showcasing the brand new Fizz, Broly, Chilai, and Lemo at 55% in the hidden potential system to see how good they are compared to the rainbow Broly, Chilai, and Lemo that we showcased a couple days ago. If you guys missed that video, feel free to go check it out through the link above my head. And without further ado, let's jump right into it and get this run started. So on this first rotation, we have a double support setup with the Turles as well as the Cooler. So we should be able to see some pretty good things, especially because we're going to give these guys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Fizz Orbs. Okay, so before the Orbs, they have 54,566 defense, which obviously is not very good. But after the Orbs, with 20% attack and defense per Key Sphere, per Fizz Key Sphere obtained, they're getting up to 132,518 defense, which is quite solid. Okay, so yeah, I'm expecting some big things. I mean, honestly, the defense doesn't even matter here because they're getting guaranteed dodge chance, 100% chance to dodge with seven or more spheres. So they're not getting hit. Okay, so we're starting here with 400. No, that's 4.2 million attack on the first super. <laughs> And I love the animation too. And there you go, there's the guaranteed dodge. If there were more attacks, they would have dodged all of them as well because once again, with seven or more key spheres obtained, they have a 100% chance to dodge all attacks. That's just insane to me, man. Like I say it a lot, right? I've, I've repeated this many, many times. And every single time I'm just like, that's crazy. Like they actually gave this unit a 100% chance to dodge with seven or more key spheres which you know might seem like it's kind of hard to get but if you bring an orb changer like kefla or any other orb changing unit in the game it's really not that tough to get seven key spheres and on average like at least every other turn they will get that guaranteed dodge if not every single turn if you have one or two orb changers right so on this turn for example we have the kefla yo we're starting out with a ton of wow okay um let's see here so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen key spheres ten on the first turn i thought that was a lot already but thirteen on the second turn all right so let's just take those defense is a hundred and forty thousand hundred forty thousand three hundred thirteen even though we're missing the extra defense from uh the metal cooler support we don't need it because we got so many orbs and we'll give a couple to Turles, give a couple to Kefla. Obviously gonna try to save as many orbs as possible for the LR since we're showcasing them. There's the dodge and 4.5 million. Bro, this, <laughs> this unit is insane, man. I mean, here's the thing. We just did the 55% showcase with the Rosé and Rosé was consistently hitting like 5 million plus, 6 million plus sometimes depending on the rotation. And I was like, that's insane. This unit can't consistently reach as high of a number as far as attack stat goes, but I think overall, like people have asked me, like what I think is better? Do I think the Broly is better or the Rosé is better? Not including the lack of categories, which is a big issue for this unit. So not, not counting that, I do think the Broly, Chilai, and Lemo is actually a better overall unit because defensively, they're a lot better than Rosé, right? With that guaranteed dodge, but even without the guaranteed dodge, they still a lot of times will have much better defense. Actually, pretty much all the time, will have much better defense than the Rosé. So I think when you take everything into consideration, Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, in my opinion, once again, right, this is just my personal opinion. If you guys don't agree, that's okay. I do think that this unit is better than the Rosé. Obviously not offensively, but it's overall as far as like how they work, how their passive functions, all that stuff. And the other thing that I really love about this unit is that the uh, passive is super unique. It's super different from what you usually see, right? So not only are they a nuker, but they also can be a support if you give them the right type of orbs. So with Fizz Key Spheres, they do the most damage, get the most defense, and get the most key. So if you want them to just be like, really good in their own right, then just give them Fizz Key Spheres. But if you want them to be a support uh, support unit, giving attack or defense, then you give them different kinds of spheres, and they can also be really good support units. So I'll quickly read the passive, because honestly, I kind of forgot which types 
Or for what? <laughs> so let's pop over to the passive here. Once these animations play, of course, Turles has to transform. I hate it. I hate when he does, does that, but it is what it is. So, uh, okay, passive here. Uh, attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5% and key plus 2 for key sphere um, with two or more fizz key spheres obtained. So that's what we were doing before, right? We were getting fizz key spheres. Or all allies attack plus 39% with two or more AGL or STR key spheres obtained. All allies defense plus 39% with two or more tech or int key spheres obtained. And it fades enemies attack, including super attack, with seven or more key spheres obtained. So that's that guaranteed dodge right there. So on this turn, this looks like we're going to be getting a ton of key. So, you know, I'm actually, man, I don't want to put Turles there, but I think I have to, just for the sake of the showcase and the rotations. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to put Turles there. That's kind of, that kind of sucks. So, for Int Key Spheres, it gives attack, right? Um, no, it's STR or AGL, okay. So, let's give him, um, ah, you know what, let's give him Fizz Key Spheres for this turn again. Alright, forget it. <laughs> we'll do the other stuff later, okay? We'll, we'll give him the Fizz for this turn, and then next time we come back, I'll give him STR or AGL. So we can support the attack, and then turn after that, we'll do the other ones for the defense. But, oh crap, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna be bad. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that hurts. So yeah, a big drop off on the attack there, obviously, because we got less spheres, first of all, but we also have less support. So there's no surprise there. And uh, we don't get the guaranteed dodge, but we only take 10 damage. <laughs> we only take 10 damage from the normal attack, so it doesn't really matter. So this is what I love about this unit, right? Offensively, they're no slouch. There's nothing like unimpressive about their damage output. They do a lot of damage. They hit really hard, but they also can back it up with the defense. They also can really back it up when you give seven or more key spheres for that guaranteed dodge. And then you can also be a support unit too for the rest of the rotation. If you need the rotation to be more tanky, let's say like you have some other units on that rotation that are kind of weak defensively and you need to give them more defense to like potentially help you survive, then you can give them the specific type of key sphere to allow them to support defensively. Or if you want to just do more damage, which obviously is always a good thing, they just give them the uh, type of key sphere to make them more of a offensive supporter like giving attack to the rotation or if you just want them to do their own thing and destroy everything then you just give them the fizz key spheres right so I, I just love that i love how you can like do different things with this unit and have them perform in different ways depending on what you're feeling in that moment or what you need in that rotation so yeah i love this unit I'm so glad I pulled them. Definitely one, the one that I wanted more than Rosé. Although, no hate to Rosé. If you guys wanted to see the showcases, actually, for 100% and 55%, you can find them above my head, as always. I'll probably put the link to the 100% first, and then the link to the 55% after. So feel free to go check those out after you watch this one, or at some point during the day, or later on. Up to you guys. But Rosé is awesome, too. Okay, don't take this as a... Um, knock against Rosé, me saying that Rosé is not good, because I love him, man. He is an amazing, amazing unit. Trust me. Trust me. Fantastic unit. It's just, I like this one better. All right, that's just me. Yo, can Turles go back to his, like, other form, please? Like, this is <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, all right, so I'm going to leave Golden Cooler where he is right now. And uh, believe it or not, Golden Cooler is actually, like, one of, if not the best support unit or, or linking partner for uh, for the Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemo because their links are kind of wonky and they just don't link that well with a lot of units because they're like all over the place. So as far as uh, attack support goes, yeah, it's AGL or STR. Okay, so we can give him these AGL orbs and he'll be a attack support for this turn. So while he's not going to do as much damage, he will be allowing the other guys on this rotation to hit harder. Um, so you're not going to see that too much here with the cooler because he's not going to be supering. But the Turles should be hitting pretty hard. Obviously, they also benefit from their own attack support, right? So they still get that 39% additional attack, even though they're not getting as much 
for um, for a key sphere, like as far as attack and defense goes. And there's the guaranteed dodge as well. Can't be hit when you have seven or more key spheres. Now, at the end of this event, when we get to the MUI Goku, he's gonna take away our dodge. So we're not gonna be able to actually dodge him. But because we have the type of advantage, and because um, we already get so much defense from the key spheres, it's not really gonna be that much of an issue anyways, you know? Okay, so I'm a little bit concerned about these guys, honestly. Uh, I feel like I might get killed by a super, so I'm gonna actually, you know what, I'm gonna actually just go Usher here. <laughs> We're gonna go Usher this turn. I'm going to try to conserve as many Fizz Keys Fierce as possible. I don't think we're gonna be able to conserve all of them, just because of the way it's laid out. So I think I'll have to actually, let's see. Okay, so I'll give this one to Broly. I'll give, okay, I wanna save those. Oh crap, <sighs> I messed up, I messed up. You know, I can, we can still save a decent amount, but not nearly as much as we could have. Maybe next turn I'll give him STR instead. Because STR would support defense, right? I think. I could be wrong about that. I, I forgot already. I know I just read it. I forgot. So, uh, that's my bad, guys. My memory is... My short-term memory... Actually, no. My memory in general is not the greatest. Short-term and long-term. Short-term, a little bit better. Like, for like for like the one, like one day or two days, you know, in the future. That's how I did so well on my uh, exams in college and in high school because I was just really good at memorizing. But I didn't really, really retain anything. In the long term, I forgot all that stuff, man. I hope my parents are not watching because I feel like it was a bit of a waste, not gonna lie. I mean, I got I got good education, right? I did, but I don't remember too much of what I learned in school. I guess that's, that's with most people though. I think most people probably don't remember the majority of things. Oh, why was I so worried about like saving key spheres. Yeah, that was stupid because we, we killed them anyways, so it didn't really make a difference. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna put Broly there. And um, you know what, actually, I'm not sure. Cause we're not gonna be able to get that guaranteed dodge here. We can support though, right? We can support defense if we give him tech. Yeah, so we can give him tech key sphere to support defense. So Golden Cooler has 80, 82,000 defense, which is not bad. We can make that higher though. So let me just give him that one key sphere right there. We'll give him, or give them the tech key spheres. And now everybody's defense is higher. As you can see, 94,000 defense up to up from 80, was 81,000 before? And then Broly, Chile, and Lemo at 131,000 and the Metal Cooler at 110,000. So everybody's quite tanky now, not super tanky. I'm still a bit scared, honestly, but we shouldn't die here. We shouldn't, that's the key word, okay? I'm not gonna say it's guaranteed. In fact, I'm still kind of worried. Okay, they didn't get supered, that's good. Or, or uh, Golden Cooler didn't get supered, that's perfect. The animation on this card are awesome, dude. I love them. I love the animations for this card. Another big reason why I wanted it so bad. Okay, so we survived there. We made it through. Uh, ooh, changed a bunch of fizz. But once again, we're in that situation where like I'm gonna have to probably give some up. I'm gonna have to give some up just so we can still conserve some. Because if I if I. <sighs> Oh, what if I play it like this? I'll give, I'll give one, no, one to Broly. This is gonna use up most of them. So what if I just, man, this really sucks. I, w I wish it, it, I wish there's a way to not use up key spheres for a unit. You can just like choose to like skip that unit for a turn. But unfortunately you can't do that. So um, let's Ghost Usher again here. And, uh, yeah, we're not going to use up all those, so I think my best option here is to do that. And then, uh, we'll just use this one. That makes sense? Eh, it makes some sense. Okay, so we're going to waste the token attack here on the Broly. 
Um, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? Couldn't avoid it. That was literally unavoidable. We tried, guys. We tried, but... Uh, these showcases don't always go the way you want them to. Although, I think at this point, you guys have probably seen a lot or enough from the Broly Chi Lion Lemo to know that, like, even at 55%, they're still amazing. Alright, even with no dupes, they're still a fantastic unit that hits really hard, that defends really well, um, and it's just really fun to use because of their, like, the way their passive works, where you can make them do different things. And that guaranteed dodge is still clutch. Alright, you don't need dupes, that guaranteed dodge. So, I love it. I'm, I'm so happy that I have this unit. Not not trying to flex on anybody, okay, just trying to be clear. I feel like the way I say it might trigger a few people that didn't fold them if they wanted them. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just saying, you know, it's good to not be shafted <laughs> because I, I've been through a lot, guys, okay? As far as the shaft goes, your boy has been through a lot and um, it's good to have this nice streak of luck for for the last couple of couple of weeks maybe a month or so but I, I have a feeling that eventually it's gonna go away and I'm, I'm terrified honestly I'm terrified for this upcoming download celebration because I feel like it's not gonna go so well for us so there's the dodge right there there's another dodge and attack is gonna be 3.55 million which is still very very respectable Obviously, it would have made more sense to put him in the middle to get the links from the Broly as well, but we couldn't really risk it because, I, you know, I don't trust Golden Cooler <laughs> to tank all those attacks if there's a super. But now I realize that the super wasn't in the first slot, and now we're going to die because that's how things go. So, oh, yeah, oh, we're still alive somehow. We're still alive somehow. Okay, I will take that. I will take that. But anyways, I think this showcase has gone on for long enough. So, while that's happening, while Broly's going on a rampage, going crazy, uh, I'm going to sign off here. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. For watching this 55% showcase of the Broly Chi Lion Lemo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, you know what, we'll do one more turn. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do one more turn here. Okay, so Kefla is changing a few orbs here. We can actually save most of those. Um, yeah, okay, so if I put Broly there, we can probably... Mm, no, if, if we put her there, maybe? She has the least defense. I'm the most worried about her. I'm not going to give her a ton of orbs either, so... Yeah, I, I gotta make sure to... Okay, so let's, let's heal up here. I gotta make sure to hide her. So maybe it makes more sense to put her here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so indecisive right now. Okay, I'll give her these two orbs. I'll give him the one. And then we'll give... One, no. Uh, give this to Metal Cooler. And that sets, up, sets us up for a really good turn next turn. Oh, I got the dodge. Yes. Okay. 74k. That's fine. We're still alive. We're still kicking. We're still good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this unit. What are your opinions? How do you think it compares to the Int Rosé? And which one do you guys think is better? Obviously, in my opinion, this one's better. But that's just because overall, when you consider the defense as well as the offense, I think it's just more useful of a unit than the Int Rosé. But Int Rosé is fantastic. It hits so hard. It's stupid. So I love both units. That's the that's the I guess moral of the story here. Okay, are we gonna die, or is Broly gonna ever stop attacking? That's the question. Find right out next time. A Dragon Ball Z. Dokkan battle. Okay. <laughs> I just want to do one more attack here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay. Okay. I'm scared. Survive. Come on, survive, Broly. Thank you. That was good. That was. That was Ooh, I don't know about Metal Cooler though. Yo, Metal Cooler screwed. Unless we clutch like a dodge here, we're screwed. Oh, we're dead. Well, that was a waste of time. My bad, guys. That's how it goes. Like I said, showcases don't always go the way you want them to. So we're going to end off on that fairly low note. But as far as this unit goes, we've seen all we need to see. Okay, so there it is. 
If you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.